So we need to get all of that. And that? In there. And we have helpers that don't want to get left behind. <laughs> they think we're leaving. <laughs> so there is a lot of stuff that we've accumulated. And over time, we figured out that these are the bare essentials we need. And this is the stuff that every day works for us. Why we have them and where they go. We thought we'd start with the items that are going to go underneath the seat. That is the stuff that we don't need very often, usually in an emergency. So what is going to go under there is our traction control items. So if we ever get stuck, we have three strategies to get unstuck. We have two sets of tire chains, front and back. We have the truck cloth, which if you're already stuck, goes on to the tire and claws your way out. And uh, also, if we get stuck in the sand, we, we have the sleds that we can put underneath the tire and climb out. So, have a quick look. Tracy's operating the camera today. And so all this is going to go underneath the bench. Let's start packing traction control. The truck claws and the chains. Now there's a benefit to having the chains here because it puts the weight of the chains closer to the front of the truck. If I put them in the garage in the back, it just makes the back heavier. Next is a bottle jack because I really don't like the jack that comes OEM with the vehicle. So also I bought this because I do need to jack up the back of the truck to raise the suspension to engage the stable loads. That's a, that's another video that we did when we had the truck outfitted at Truck Outfitters, and we'll put a link to it right here. So, the jack is next. And Tracy's just gonna hand me the little roadside kit. This is the, it's the rescue kit. In here, there's booster cables, a tow rope. So another strategy to get unstuck, and in case the truck don't start, or to help somebody else. We store miscellaneous stuff also under here. So we have a set of four come-alongs. I also have our tight seal. <laughs> In case you never know, if you get a spring at leak or something, you got a tight seal. <laughs> I have the original turnbuckles that we used in the back before we got fast guns for the back. I keep them as spares. And a light bar, 12 volt light bar. In case we need to work on the truck at night, if we get stranded, we can bring light out outside. So the first thing is to protect these seats. Even though we had seat covers put on, we don't want to get them dirty. And we have noticed that we do bring in a lot of dirt and dust. I like putting down cardboard boxes, you know, from all the stuff that we get from Amazon. And this is the box that the ladder came in. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So again, can you see? Amazon Prime. <laughs> And the other half of the ladder. <laughs> so now the seats are all protected and we can start putting cargo onto the seat. So here are the items that go on the passenger side of the truck. One of those beautiful Costco chairs. We have a socket set, a bit set, a toolbox, a cooler for our daily food because once the slides are closed we can't get to our fridge. I have my gear bag when I have to go to work and we have a shopping bag when we need to pick up some groceries. We have a cutting board and knife so that when we bring food out of the cooler that we can prepare food. And we have our step stool, which we find useful when the truck is sitting high and it gives us that four step. Put it right beside the tire and they can see. It also, I find when I need to go into the engine compartment of the truck, it sits pretty high and I can actually get into the engine compartment. Let's start loading. The gear bag I don't use very often, so it goes in first. The bit case I have to go in first because it, it finds a little home right there. And then the toolbox. 
This is Christian playing Tetris. He's very good at this game. And then the socket set. Oh, but before, I need to protect those seats. Another Amazon Prime box. Mm -hmm. So that goes there. Then the socket set. Then the cutting board and knife. Go right there. So continuing on the floor, we have our water bottles that we can actually access while we're going down the road. Having someone that actually worked at the hospital laundry, Tracy, we inherited a lot of hospital pads and receiving blankets, and we find them very useful, especially if we're eating in the truck and can set this on the floor while we're driving and I can take off my shoes or boots. I just build up the middle here over the water bottles and you'll see why in a second. And then we have more blankets. Some we use for the dogs and some we use for the tables when we stop for a picnic. Exactly. And the picnic one, we'll show you in a second. This one I roll for a very specific reason. I put it right back here, right in the center, because look what's going in next. Pepita, our little Mexican chihuahua <laughs> from Mexico, her rescue. We've actually trained her right from a puppy to travel in a cage. And so she likes traveling in the cage. And when we stop somewhere, she's got a nasty habit. She tends to chew stuff. So we like to actually leave her in the cage. It's quite cool. It makes it level for her. When we're traveling, the PETA gets tired of being in the cage if we're going for a while. So we put this bed here. We have another lower bed up here. The dogs can actually kind of curl up together. They like being together. Mm -hmm. These are a fairly new addition. I actually need to just push the cage up a little bit and get those in here. The sleds are new. We used to have the cage always down. So now the strategy is if we need the cage, we put it down, the bed comes out. But if we don't need the cage, the cage goes up and then the beds are together. So the next one is the Vi Air compressor and we did a video reviewing performance of it. We absolutely love this compressor and we'll put a link to it right here. And then I have a little working table in case uh, we have to, I have to do some work from the truck. I like using a mouse. And so what we do is we switch driver. I go in the passenger seat and I get my work done and we're still traveling. And that goes right behind my seat. Again, we're going to protect the seats, Amazon Prime. Here's the drone and the landing pad. And I found a great spot right here that because it's right at the bottom of the door, I can always access it. So it's the doggy playpen. If we're in a place that they have very strict controls, leash controls and all that, we just bring these out. Because we find our dogs are not leash dogs, so if you put them on a leash, they just get all tangled up. Mm -hmm. That goes on the Vi Air, and then the walking sticks that Tracy bought me for my birthday go right here. Oh yeah. And then these are the rear receivers. The 450 has fairly big receivers, and then these are the reducers. So to go all the way down to a two and a half. So these go right here. Again, accessible. Now we have a hanging bar for our clothes. So we don't have much wardrobe closet space inside. We keep the items that are quite big and bulky out in the truck. Goes in first, pretty much the cold weather. So the, the winter coats. Just extra shirts and t-shirts in case we get wet or something and we can't get into the camper. Just keep a few extras out here for a quick change. Fall, spring and uh, hiking in case we're in the mountains so we need us to cover up a bit so next the extension ladder which is great you'll see the use of this ladder during our solar panel installation and we could put a link to that video right here it goes right here in front of the sleds it actually fits nice and it leaves a little gap here for extra canteen still not sure what we have this but in a video that we did, there was a, a natural stream coming off of the mountains, off the runoff from the glacier. We actually captured some of that water and it was delicious. We'll put a link to that video right here, Skyway Parkway. So we always keep that so we can get some fresh water. And of course, you always need windshield washer fluid. Always good to have a roll of, you know what, pee. <laughs> 
These are big industrial sized garbage bags. Just keep them around. Don't know what to use them, but they're handy to have. That leaves a spot right here. And what goes there, Mama? My paddle board. Yay. Papa said if it fits, it goes. You know, I didn't realize how big paddle boards are. And it's an inflatable one. And it's an inflatable one. Can you imagine if it was not? I guess not, we would be able to put it on the back of the ladder. Okay, and that leaves a little spot. So right here, what piles up here, is we have a bag with all our cables, like electric cables, charging cables, computer cables. And then we have uh, the laptops and we have all the camera gear also fits in there. And that stays in the truck with us while we travel. Everything's gone. Everything's been loaded. Oh, maybe not. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, look. Your shoes, Papa. Hiking shoes. And they go behind the headrest. Spoke too soon. These are winter boots. Just in case we end up in the mountain, we hit snow. And that's where they go. Now let's finish the passenger side. The next thing is the cooler. This is the picnic blanket and it stays with the cooler. Tracy's hiking boots go behind this headrest so they're accessible all the time. The stool. We still have a little bit of room like if we have groceries and stuff we can put it right here. More windshield washer fluid. Always good to have. It goes behind the cooler. And the beautiful Costco chair, which are a little big and bulky because we used to have two uh, outside chairs in the, in the back garage of the Eagle Cap. But these being a little bit bigger, only one of them fits there. And so the other one goes here. So then we have our shopping bag. We need to pick up some groceries. See, right there on the stool. And finally, the dog's food and, and water bowl. And we also have paper plates in there for when we have a picnic. We also have uh, silverware as well. Plastic plastics mm -hmm. silverware. So there you go. There you go. And that goes with you near know, the cutting board and the shopping bag. And now there is nothing on the ground. It is all in the truck. The dogs have their little cocoon. You know, we still have space back here. We can still put stuff back here. You'd be surprised. And that's what we put and how we fit everything in the truck. So the philosophy is to have everything that's related to the truck in the truck and everything related to the Eagle Cap truck camper stored in the camper. So we hope you enjoy the video and if you did give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody that would be interested in our videos share it right now and in the meantime we'll catch you on the next one.